Hello there. This is Miss Dancer reporting live from David Quinn's nursery. Um, today we are going to do some intro to Martha Graham technique. Um, so if you have never taken Graham before, I'm going to break down some of the key elements. If you have taken Graham before and you want to kind of revisit some of the basics, this is a good choice for you. Um, or if you've been taking Graham for a while, but you feel like you are a little bit confused about some of the things that are being asked of you, I'm going to try to demystify it a little bit and really go nice and slow. So the Martha Graham technique um, was obviously created by Martha Graham, and one of the main components is that everything comes from the pelvis and everything is initiated by the breath. So I am going to breathe pretty loudly when I'm doing these. Um, which sometimes makes dancers uncomfortable because we feel like an audible breath is like maybe too vulnerable or too personal, but it is okay to do breath that you can hear. Um, so if, while I'm breathing, you're gonna be trying to also replicate um, those audible breaths because it is really important. There shouldn't be anything that the movement is just coming from a muscular place that isn't started with the breathing. So before we actually get into some of the gram floor work, I'm going to start just by some things to activate and warm up the pelvis that are not part of Martha Graham's codified sequences, but they're things that I think are good for waking up the things that you need to do Graham correctly. So we're going to begin on the back, lying down on the floor, and you should have like this natural curve, enough space for a pencil underneath your lumbar spine. And we're going to begin by exhaling on the contraction, scooping the pelvis and getting rid of that natural curve as we extend and lengthen the abdominals and move the pelvis back. So we're going to take that on. One, two, three, four, release to neutral. Two, three, four, and a one. Two, three, four, release to neutral. Two, three, four, contracting, one, scooping, two, three, really pressing your lumbar spine, release, tail is lengthening down to your heels, and a one, two, three, four, and release, two, now we'll take it, bridging the pelvis up, contract, lifting all the way up to your shoulders, coming back, upper back, middle back, lower back, Release and lower back, sequences up, lowering upper and middle and lower, release and scooping, bridging up, sequence through the vertebra and upper back, middle, lower, release and contract, scooping up and upper, middle, lower, release. Now we'll take contract. Two, add the torso, and lower, down, and release the pelvis. Scoop the pelvis, add the torso nice and round, and lower the upper back, release the pelvis, and contract. And take the torso up, and lower the upper back, release the lumbar spine, contract. Two, and lift. The torso and sequence down and release roll onto your sides come up to a flat back we're going to take similar sequence first find your neutral spine back of your neck long tail nice and stretched so if you can see yourself in the mirror or somewhere make sure you're not kind of collapsed like this if you can't see yourself just do a general check-in are my shoulders too close to my ears right is my tail long? Do I feel like I'm hunched up or collapsed? So now we're gonna take, just isolating the pelvis, contract. Two, notice my upper back is not really moving and release. Back to neutral. I'll tuck my shirt in so you can see and contract. Two, three, four and release. Two, three, four and contract lower back. You should really feel a deep stretch in the lumbar spine. Two, three, back to neutral, and a fourth time. 
and release. And we're gonna do deep exhales on the contraction. Now we go to a full cat back, lower back, middle back, upper back, head, and lower, middle, upper, and head, and pelvis, middle back, upper back, and head, and lower, middle, upper, long spine, and lower, middle, upper, head, and lower, middle, releasing and engaging and contract. Breathing out, three, four, and lower, middle, upper, and head. Just sit back to a child's pose. Relax the spines. You can stay there, but I'm gonna explain a little bit. Um, I'm really going over the sequencing from the lumbar spine through the middle, through the upper, and then the head, because that is the sequence for all of Graham. There's no movements that initiate with the head, right? Everything goes bottom to top, bottom to top. Yeah, the pelvis is starting and finishing every contraction. So if you can kind of keep that mantra, lower back, middle back, upper back, head, that's pretty much what you have to do for all the movements.